what a ride it would prove to be. Most of the teams had their game faces right on. On the demanding and rather tricky 40k route, the 2005 SA champ Alfie Cox and his partner Henny Ter Stieger got off to a flyer in their motorbike right back. For Cox, though, his first racing experience in a special vehicle would turn out to be a short one. At the start, drivers faced a 40km lap on a day that was already hot. Nissan's other former champ Duncan Foss and his co-driver Ralph Pitchford had also moved up to the SP class and then Navarro was sounding mean. Thousands of spectators that turned out it was a slugfest of sound, sights and speed as the teams got their new season underway. Cox, who got a special vehicle drive and left Nissan, had to do so due to his Dakar rally commitments, but the Peter Maritzburg man was loving it out there. As for Brandon Harkis and his motorite bat, it was skin of the teeth stuff. The car was only released from customs in Durban 16 hours before. Marcus drove from KwaZulu-Natal to the Cape and got to the start with just seconds to spare. He was going solo and got lost once or twice, but the motorbike bat was going great guns. As for Krobla and Jordan, they were flying along in the super production class. Gary Bertolt and Henry Kirstein in their Atlas Copco bat were next in class A and were looking very smooth as they ate up the Ks. They battled a little with a thick sand in places, but were on their way to a time of just 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Good enough for first place. Hutchison and his co-driver Achim Bachmann in the motor right back were taking no prisoners, but they were finding the car, in their words, a handful. It certainly didn't look like it. They clocked 27.32 for the route, and that left them atop the prologue leaderboard tied with Bartolt and Kirstein. And that's not an occurrence that one would see very often in off-road racing. The fitness fanatic Duncan Foss was herring along in the Navara. Just as he demands fitness from his body, that's what he demands from his vehicle. Duncan drove the SP class all of 05 and was probably the most used to the bigger car and its requirements. They were third 19 seconds behind and in turn they were 28 ticks ahead of teammate Hannes Hobler. Everyone was waiting with bated breath to see how the Fords would do and Neil Woolridge and Kenny Schulthammer didn't let them down. They were a creditable fifth, one minute and 40 seconds off the pace of the special vehicles, and they were third in class. Harkas clocked in next, and the Century Properties bat with Colin Matthews and John Moore having swapped places for the prologue, logged into seventh place overall and fourth in class A. Class A champions Terence Marsh and Michael Whitehouse in their Nashua Mobile Racing Bat Spec 1 took 8th spot and proved that they would again be a force to be reckoned with in the year 2006. Marcus Shalane and Marcus Taylor won the Class B prologue battle with a JRE 2 litre going like the proverbial Boeing and clinched a top 10 spot. They clocked 31 minutes and 28 seconds. And the top 10 was rounded up by Richard Schilling and Chris Davies in the Plastotec Aceco. And that also confirmed what Pundit said about the 06 season, that the special vehicles would dominate. The prologue confirmed it. Seven cars out of the top 10 were special vehicles. Archie Rutherford and Craig Doubtfire made it one more for the specials when they took 11th, while Class D champion Manfred Schroeder, with Ward Huxtable in the co-driver seat of the Team Ford Ranger 2.5, nabbed one back for the production cars when they took 12th. They were four minutes behind in the diesel car.
Chris Fissan, Yapi Bard, Norse pilot at Dave Tycho Trucks Toyota Hilux 2.7 to a fine 13th place in 32 minutes and 13 seconds. While Bez Besaidnot and Johan de Brains at Denko Sandmaster was just one second slower and brought them a good starting place in the entry of 49 cars. The gold and hard body of Kutsiela Baskachny and Johan Gerber was next in 15th place in the prologue and the team from the award-winning Kuppel Club did a fine job of beating some of the bigger name teams. The big and burly Gil Nell and Johan Smallberger in their Bozel Truggy Zarko let it all hang out on the second lap. Nell was complimentary about his new navigator who he said was faultless. Enjoying vastly improved handling from the year before, father and son, Jaap and Hugo de Brain in their Toyota Hilux took 17th place, but they would eventually retire with gearbox trouble halfway into lap one on Saturday. Ford's latest signing, 2005 special vehicle champion Shamir Varayawa and VZ Van Sale were in the second total Ford Ranger, but they were slightly disappointed with their performance as they were four minutes and 40 seconds back in the SP class, a big gap to say the least. The 19th place was taken by John Moore and Ashley Thorne in the Leo Connix Internet Special Car, but they were chased to the death by father and son combination Nick and Ryan Harper, who did not have a particularly good day and finished 40th after some overheating trouble. And who did they want to know put that silly bump right there? It almost cost them dearly. Go! As for Bevan Bartolt and Robin Houghton in the Castel Toyota Hilux in the SP class, they were running a Class D car in this category and performed admirably. It was Bartolt's first time under the cosh for the car and he was still getting used to it. At the top though, it was another Bartolt, Gary and his navigator Henry Kirstein, who held sway with Evan Hutchison and Achim Bachmann, who clocked identical times. Foss and Pitchford were 19 seconds in arrears. The Nissan dealer 400 from Darling continues right after the break.